Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about blue iguana. With this lizard's articulated toes, it can dig up things quickly and climb trees. While a mature male can be of dark gray to turquoise color, the female is more of olive green to pale blue. Younger blue iguanas feature much different coloring that is much darker, featuring a dark brown or green hue with a darker banding uniformly. The adults can change their color to blue when they are around other iguanas to mark their territories, but they often prefer to stay on the ground. Male blue iguanas are larger than females and have more prominent dorsal crests. The azanthic blue iguanas, however, are only 10 to 14 inches in size. Incredible blue iguana facts. Even with the many changes that other reptile species have, the blue iguana has many interesting facts that help it to stand out. Here are just a few traits that the blue iguanas exude. Blue iguanas are azanthic, which means that they don't have any blue or yellow pigment in their skin. Instead, they can only create gray, black, and brown in their complexion. These iguanas are rather small, only reaching a maximum of 14 inches in length. Blue iguanas don't typically enjoy living together, opting for a more solitary life. Still, they will seek out a mate when breeding needs to occur. When it comes to bedtime, the blue iguana prefers to sleep in the darkness of night, much like other iguana species. Blue iguanas are incredibly territorial, showing aggression towards any threats to their habitat as young as just a few months old. Blue iguana appearance The blue iguanas usually have skin that ranges from dusky blue to gray. They have crossbands over their bodies. The bands, however, are barely visible. The mature male's skin color ranges from dark gray to turquoise blue while that of the females is more olive green to pale blue. Meanwhile, the young blue iguanas are uniformly dark brown or green. Blue iguana behavior These iguanas are usually solitary and come together only to breed. They are known to be active during the day and usually enjoy sleeping through the night. They love sleeping in tree cavities as well as rock holes. These lizards are terrestrial which means that they love staying on the ground, but they can climb trees that are 15 feet and higher. The younger blue iguanas are more arboreal. Even though these lizards are known to be solitary, in captivity, they can turn pretty aggressive towards each other from an incredibly young age. They are known to get bolder and more visible as they grow in age. The female iguanas live a solitary life most of the year. They stay homebound, close to their favorite rock holes. The females are known to defend a small territory including places to feed as well as bask. No other adult female iguanas are allowed in their territories. The message of staying away is communicated through vigorous head bobbing. If that doesn't work, the intruder is then attacked. The males on the other hand are less tied to one single place and often sleep in alternative holes that are usually scattered across a much larger territory. During the non-breeding season, the males are lazy and get up late. They eat a lot during this time and mask motionless for hours. Blue iguanas can make great pets. They are sold at high prices, sometimes up to $1,000. They are one of the most popular lizards that are kept as pets. However, they require a lot of attention and human care. Under human care, they can live for as many as 69 years. Usually, otherwise, their lifespan is about 25 to 40 years. Blue Iguana Habitat These iguanas are native to the island of Grand Cayman. They love sleeping in tree cavities and rock holes. They prefer staying in dry, rocky forests that are situated in coastal areas. The rocky forests that they prefer may contain cactus and other thorny plants. Apart from that, these lizards can also be found in semi-deciduous forests, scrub woodlands, moist forests as well as dry to subtropical, moist forests. Not only that, but the blue iguanas are also adaptable to and can be found in man-modified habitat as well. Blue iguana diet These iguanas are primarily herbivorous and mostly feed on stems and leaves. They also eat fruits and flowers. However, occasionally, you could spot these lizards feeding on excrement, fungi, soil as well as insects. Reports suggest that at some zoos, these lizards are fed carrots, sweet potatoes, leafy green vegetables, and herbivorous lizard pellets. They may also rarely feed on crabs and slugs. Blue iguana predators and threats These iguanas face a predation threat from feral animals. Apart from that, free-roaming dogs and cats also hunt these lizards down. 
They are known to kill and prey on both adults as well as young iguanas. The baby blue iguanas and the hatchlings face predation threat from Norway rats. Human activities like deforestation, industrialization, and urbanization also pose a threat to these iguana lizards, 